Okay, so just woken up, obviously after meeting with Satan once more. The devil. Chores, no chores. Wait. What were my chores? No chores. Okay. No chores, huh? Seriously. No chores. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll clean up my table then. My uh, table, my bedroom. It's gonna run. Oh, I should turn the light off. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Turn all the lights off. Darkness. Looks like I'm going the right way. Into the kitchen. Okay. Ooh, bananas. Telekinesis, huh? Ooh. Mm. Uh, I took the padlock. I should put this in my pocket so no one will find it. It might become useful. Okay. Uh-oh. Detective McGuffin, <coughs> what do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... We got a Detective McGuffin. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. Mmm. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. <laughs> Notebook update rescue. He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate when he smokes in the dining room, it gives me a headache. What a bastard. I got no chores. 
really. Okay. Where am I going? Mom and dad's room. Yeah. All the lights on in this house are really electric bills, like, my who's here? operation here why don't you go downstairs and watch tv or something you drunk dude do you to take your shit Stay away. Piano. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Huh? How are your lessons going? Nah. Stolen jeans matches now. Only way for him to light his cigarettes is with the oven. I should set a trap of some kind. The oven has a system that prevents the gas leaking out. I need a tool of some sort for this. I picked up that thingy earlier. That should work. Okay. Stop creeping around, Lucius. You're making me nervous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Gotta go now. Gotta set up a trap. Where's the oven? Is an oven? Shit. Have you seen my matches? No. Shit. Seems a bit loose. Should probably borrow a screwdriver from the janitor and fix it. Of course, Chris Hell ain't gonna do it himself. Totally. Yes. This oven is rigged and Gene does not have a clue. Now all we have to do is wait. Okie dokie. Not waiting in there. I'll freeze to death. <clears throat> hmm. How are your lessons going?
How do I use my skills? Hmm. Oh, shit. What's keeping your father? I need to find some new matches. I can't mm -hmm. be messing with the oven each time I need a light. Have you seen my matches? What you doing? <laughs> From a safe distance, obviously. Detective McGuffin. <laughs> McGuffin. <laughs> huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Gene was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the Lower West Wing. <laughs> it's time to kill the janitor. Oh, yeah. Hello, Lucius. Here we are again. Mm hmm. You have been doing very well. Thank you. you. My, you make me proud. Thank you. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Here, let me show you how. Uh, so can I can just go by pressing two? Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> Where the hell did my toy car go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. He runs out. Very good. Yeah. 
You can also break items with this skill. Try to break the coffee cup. Very good. <laughs> you can also start machines and just try to start the radio. Now you know what to do, my son. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. Be careful, but show no mercy. Okay.